As a youth specialist, I couldn't access the full history of the girls at Spruce Village, but I did know their reason for admittance to our program. For example, I knew that Lizzie was placed here after she, at the age of 14, performed fellatio on another child in her foster care home. Her judge deemed her a hazard to the other kids in the home and relegated her to residential treatment. She didn't need juvie, she needed help, and from that, I can reasonably infer the abuse she suffered prior to foster care placement. It took about two weeks to understand that my job would involve very little authentic connection or rehabilitation. If there were unlimited resources and the only goal had been patient rehabilitation, they would have gotten those girls as far away from each other as possible. An uncomfortable but important truth behind the psychological complex which drives people to self-harm is egoism. If a girl is okay with hurting herself, but she would not hurt another person, she's implying that she's made of a different stuff than the people around her. There is a remarkable similarity in the pathology of a girl who thinks she's better than everyone else, and a girl who thinks that she's worse than everyone else. Breaking news. Spruce Village Family and Foster Care Services is facing heat when they failed to respond to a ward attempting suicide for almost an hour. Chester has the latest.